Hello guys and gals and welcome! Uh, today I have something exciting. So uh, these are Diablo 2. You know what, let me go ahead and add this on here so everybody can see. These are D2R texture files. Let's see if I can, I can put that up here correctly so it doesn't look like garbage. Yay, D2R texture files. So these are, I don't, I don't actually have access to the, uh, to the alpha. It's this file is floating around on the internet. So, you know, if you want to try and look for it, it is out there. Um, I don't know exactly. I'm not going to, I'm not going to link it or anything. That's, that's not my, it's not my jam. You know, but uh, you you guys do your thing if you want to. All right. So these are the texture files of the armor. So this is what they're going to look like in game on your, in your inventory, right? And then I got a lot of files here, so we're going to go over uh, a bunch of them, and um, I hope you guys are interested. So let me pull up the folder. Sorry about the white background. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. All right, so this is the ancient armor. Um, next, we have the breastplate. Pretty cool looking. And uh, let's see if I can... We'll zoom in a little bit, see how that looks on a stream. All right, I think that has worked. Sweet. Okay, so let me zoom in on this. This is the uh, ancient armor. Pretty darn cool. And then uh, we have the next on our list is the breastplate. Pretty cool. Uh, we also have the, this is the uh, chainmail, I believe. Yes, the chain mail. Um, next on the list, we have something really cool. It's the uh, Corpse Mourn Unique. Um, and then we have the Field Plate. Next is the Full Plate Mail. Uh, we also have the unique armor, the uh, gold skin plate. There we go. That's the gold skin, so that's the unique armor. Very, very cool looking. Very, very interesting looking armor, I tell you what. Hey, I'm trying to make sure that everything is going right on the, the recording too while I'm doing this, because I've never, never done one of these before. This is the gothic plate. Uh, this is the Hemosus Adamant. Very interesting plate there. Um, then we also have the pretty standard um, hard leather armor, which you've probably seen in the streams. Uh, all moving on to the leather armor. or the Sorry, this is the Iron Pelt. That's the unique uh, Nightmare Trellis armor, I believe. Very kind of cool. I believe Iron Pelt was more more dark gray, black than that, but, uh, you know. So here is the leather armor. As you can see, kind of a, it kind of looks like an old medieval armor, pretty cool. All right, so this is the uh, light plate, I believe. Yes, light plate. And then uh, next on the list, we have the plate mail. Very interesting. Um, not quite, I don't, not quite as cool as the original plate mail, but uh, it's been interesting nonetheless. And then we have the uh, quilted armor, which you've probably seen in the streams. And uh, next is the chain mail, or, or so, no, no, sorry, this is ring mail. So this would be like, uh, kind of look like the hawk mail and stuff. Very interesting. And then we have the scale mail, very, very nice and scaly. Pretty cool. And uh, splint mail, which I think they did a pretty good job on the splint mail. It looks really, really cool looking. 
And then uh, last on the armors, we have the Silks of Victor. Oh, I guess we were missing one. Hold on. The, uh, what's that? The, oh, there it is. Okay, studded leather. Very interesting looking armor. Um, and then, of course, the Silks of Victor. Very interesting looking armor there. Got little puffy sleeves, got the little tassets, got the got little. So, this is what uh, Tyrael's Might is going to look like. This is what um, Templars is going to look like. This is what Silks of Victor is going to look like. They're all pretty much the same graphic. Got little lions on the shoulders there. Really cool. A lion on the chest. All right. And so, next, we're going to show off uh, something else because we've got got a lot of files here so we've got belts Let's give me just a second here and I'll pull up the belts here we go so I'm not really gonna spend too long on these uh, this is the uh, leather belt and then we've got the uh, girdle and then we've got the heavy belt light belt and the sash so very interesting all right and then we have uh boots we've got uh, several pairs of boots here so as far as boot icons go let's we'll see if i can there we go it seems to pull up automatically that's pretty cool i didn't think it would do that all right so we got um pretty sweet pair of boots there We've got, uh, this is the, uh, heavy boots. This is the leather boots. And then we've got the light plated boots. So this would be like your goblin toes and whatnot. And then we have the uh, plate boots. So these would be like your tear haunch greaves and stuff like that, I believe. All right, and now we're going to move on to circlets. This will be an interesting one. You guys are going to see some pretty circlets. So obviously these are all circlets. There's variations of the circlets. Got like a, a dragon talon there holding a gem. That's pretty cool. Like the big gem in the front with a little teardrop. All right, and then next on the list, we have the gloves. So you guys are probably going to like these. That's the uh, chain gloves, obviously. Very interesting. Uh, then we've got the gauntlets. Very nice, cool graphic on the gauntlets, I think. That would be like your Frostburn gauntlets. Uh, there's your regular gloves, pretty cool looking regular gloves. So uh, that's like your hand of Brock. And then, um, these would be like a Sanders taboo. That's your heavy gloves. Of course, you know, Sanders taboo has a different color. So his hand of Brock is blue. Um, and then we have these beautiful looking things, the light gauntlets, which would be, um, like your mage fist gauntlets, things like that. All right, and then uh, next on the list we have helmets. Ooh, we got quite a few helmets. So this is the assault helmet. That's the uh, barbarian. We've got the Avenger guard. Uh, this is the bone helm. Uh, cap. Underscore hat. I guess that's what your shotco is going to look like. Pretty ugly. Uh, here is the Coif of Glory. That's a unique helmet. So a unique helmet does have a unique, you know, picture. And then we have the uh, regular crown. Pretty cool looking. Um, and this one is the unique crown, the crown of thieves. And then we have the uh, Dusk Deep, which is another unique helmet. 
the Fanged Helm, which is another Barbarian Helmet. Then we have the Full Helm. Got a very nice, like, almost looks like a Centurion from Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the Great Helmet. Then we have just the regular Helm. Uh, the Barbarian's Horned Helm. And we have a Jawbone Cap. Very interesting. Literally a Jawbone. And then has a Chainmail on the top. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and then this one is a Mask. And then we have uh, another unique item, Ondol's Almighty. So very pointy looking crown there. Probably going to stick up quite a ways off top of your head. Uh, next is another unique item, the uh, Rock Stopper Salet. And then we've got the uh, Skull Cap, of course, which is our pretty standard, um, you know, Act 1 equipment. Uh, the War Bonnet, that also has a unique uh, icon, which is pretty cool. Ooh, and then this next one, you guys are going to love this one. This is the Worm Skull Unique Helmet. Ooh, they did a good job on that one. That one looks really cool. Ooh, man. Creepy. Super. Let's zoom in a little bit more on that one. Yeah, that's creepy as I don't know what, isn't it? Hmm. All right, so next on the list, we have the um, pelts, which is the, um, you know, the druid pelts. All right, so let me make sure those are popped up on the OBS here. All right, there we go. And uh, so this one is the antlers, obviously. Pretty cool looking. Then we have the falcon mask. And uh, the Hawk Helm. The Spirit Mask. It's like a, it just looks awesome. Beady red eyes. And then we've got the uh, the Wolf Head, which is which is kind of like the Spirit Mask, but without all the paint and the red eyes. Still very scary looking. All right, and then, uh, next is the. Shield. So this one's going to be fun. So this one is the uh, Aaron Shield. Yes, Aaron Shield. Um, next on the list is the Bone Shield. Pretty darn awesome. Looks like a pair of skulls and a spine and a bunch of... Just, ooh, just nice. And, ooh, just, ooh, okay. Got it. We got the regular buckler, which just looks really cool. Um, next is a unique item. It is uh, Beveret's Keep. So it has a nice like picture of a castle on there, just like the original one in, in the Diablo 2. It's very pretty, to be honest. Um, next one is a class shield. It's the crown shield. Very, very pretty shield. Uh, then we have the Gothic Shield, which uh, has the little little lions on it. It's pretty cool. That's the that's the monstrous Force Facer Shield. All right. Then we have another unique shield. It's uh, Heaven's Tabak. Very interesting looking shield, nonetheless. It's two two big spikes on the top and two big spikes on the bottom, and a, a creepy little face on it. With a big nose eyes and got the giant eyebrows and he's obviously smiling and then uh, next on the list is another uh, class shield we've got the heraldric shield very very cool looking very very cool i like uh, i like the snakes coming up twisting together coming in it just, just looks awesome um, and then next on the list is the kite shield very shiny very very shiny shield of course, kite shields tend to be very shiny. 
And uh, the next on the list we have the uh, Lance Guard Unique Shield. So this is the uh, act or nightmare version of the Spike Shield. Looks really cool looking. Got the was that Griffin in the center? And um, the Flor de Lis around him, the red and the, the spikes coming out. Just really cool looking. And then we've got your standard uh, large shield. And then we got the lidless wall, very very cool looking with the with the skeleton heads on the attached to the shield, just awesome. And that was a, that one is a unique shield. And then we've got Moser's Blessed Circle, also a unique shield, very cool with the uh, the hand and the eye. Uh, next is the Petaluna Buckler. Petaluna Buckler is actually a pretty cool buckler. That's uh, also unique. Moser's Blessed Circle is also unique. Okay, right, next on the list is the um, generic Paladin Shield uh, class shield. It's the Rondache. Got an interesting graphic there. Can't quite figure out. Kind of looks like a person, I guess, who's uh, blowing, like like maybe it's Zeus. I'm not sure. And then we have the uh, regular small shield, pretty cool with the spike in the center. Uh, and then we have the generic uh, spiked shield, which is pretty still pretty awesome looking, to be honest, with the one, two, three, four, five spikes on the inside, and then the multiple spikes on the outside. It's really cool looking. Um, and then next on the list is a, another unique shield. It's the Steel Clash Kite Shield. Very cool with the griffin just bursting on flames out of the like the crown with like the gold rim and the black background. Very, very awesome. Uh, another unique shield is the Storm Chaser. That one has that nice blue gem in it. Pretty, pretty cool. And I love the, like the gold the lines coming outward, kind of representing, I guess, lightning. Um, and then we've got the storm guild which has this really interesting face right in the center well i'm not really sure it kind of looks like a a young girl maybe with like flowing hair backward i'm, I'm not really 100 percent sure on that one it's very interesting though um, and then another unique item is the sword back hold that's the um unique act one or normal spike shield so very, very cool. Then we've got the uh, Tarje, which is the the up, I think the up version of the Rondache. As you can see, it looks very much like the Rondache, except it's flipped. And then has like a gold background instead of the steel. So interesting. Uh, then we have the Ward Gothic Shield. That is a unique Gothic Shield. Um, I'm pretty sure that one is... Um, I want to say hell difficulty or no the no the hell one is spirit something so i think it's the nightmare one don't don't quote me on that though because i am not sure all right next on the list is this the generic tower shield still pretty cool to be honest and then we have the umbral disc Fairly awesome looking. A big giant blue sapphire in the center with the spikes coming out of it like it's a some sort of flower. Uh, and then last on the list we have the Wall of the Eyeless. Pretty darn cool. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to leave that up there for a second while I go to the next set here. So these are the Voodoo Heads. And um, they should pop up here in just a second. There we go. Um, so this is the demon head. Very, uh, very gruesome looking there. And then we have the gargoyle head. It's more like a skull with like something like latched onto the top of it and some sort of something in the, in the, the forehead there. Pretty cool. Uh, then we've got the preserved head in a jar there. Looks just creepy as I don't know what. 
the unraveler's head. And then we've got the zombie head. Pretty cool. Alright, and then we also have weapons and miscellaneous. So let's go to weapons first. So we're going to go to the axes. So these are the um, the axes. We got the regular axe. And uh, you can pause this anytime you want to. I have a lot of this stuff to go over, so I'm going to go over this pretty quick. It's going to be a um, it's going to be a lot quicker than the than probably what you would like. So feel free to pause it on the weapons that you want. I'll I'll maybe pause for a little bit longer on like the unique stuff that has very special graphics. All right. Uh, this one is the balanced axe. Then we have the battle axe. And we have the Brain Hue, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, this is the Broad Axe. And then we have the Death Spade, which I'm pretty sure is one-handed. That's a unique item. Uh, we also have the Double Axe. Then there's the Monstrous giant axe always thought that one was really cool um, and then the even more monstrous great axe now we're back to the, uh, the low level hand axe and we got the large axe the military pick. Uh, we got the mind rend. That's uh, that's a unique one. Um, we got the storm rider, also a unique one. And then we've got the chieftain. Pretty, pretty beastly looking axe there all around. The nasher, also a unique item. The Minotaur, very sweet looking, unique axe. And then lastly, uh, we got the throwing axes. Pretty cool, they got multiple axes there. And then the war axe. So pretty cool there. I saw like, kind of like little, little burn-ins in the wood there and everything. Pretty cool. All right, so now we're moving on to the bows. So the first of our bows is the composite bow. Then we have the crossbow. The doom, doom split. Why is it known splittle? That, is, that seems uh, like a, a typo. The heavy crossbow. And then we have the um, Hellcast, Hellcast Heavy Crossbow, which is uh, one of the unique items. And we have the Hellclap, I believe that's the Short Warbow. The Hunter's Bow. Uh, the unique bow, the Icker's string. Um, another unique bow, the Kuko Shakaku. Very interesting looking with the skull on it and the feathers. And we got the uh, Langer Brizer. That's a unique one, I believe. Um, and then we got the Lead Crow. That one's also unique. Actually has a crow's head on the front. Pretty cool. Uh, we have the generic light crossbow. 
the long battle bow. Very long, takes up uh, the whole screen. Uh, the long bow. The long war bow. Uh, I believe that's the rogue's bow. Looks like the rogue's bow to me. That's the red string and everything. And then this one um, doesn't have a name, but I'm fairly certain that's one of the unique bows. This one is Pus Spitter. That's the Necromancer bow. Literally has Necromancer skills on it. Uh, here's the Amazon only Reflex bow. And we have the Repeating Crossbow. The Short Battle bow. The Short bow. Uh, the short war bow, the stag bow, and finally the unique witch wild string. All right, so that's going to be it for our bows, and now we're going to move on to the clubs. So we've got uh, this regular club here, and we've got fell oak which is a unique. We've got Spiked Club. Um, Stout Nail, which is unique. And then good old Wurt's Leg. Very cute, cute little Wurt's Leg. All right, next on the list is our Hand to Hand. So these are our claws and, and catars and things. Pretty cool. So this is the claws, obviously. And then we've got the hatchet hands. We've got the Qatar. We've got Natalia's Mark. Uh, Scissors Qatar. Uh, Shadow Killer. I believe that's a unique. And so is the Natalia's Mark, by the way. Right, and that's all the files we have for hand to hand. Now we're on to hammers. So we've got the bone snap mall. Very cool looking. And we've got the great mall. Big old wooden mallet. Look, how can you go wrong with a big old wooden mallet? And then we've got the uh, Hellforge hammer. The Herodric malice. Pretty cool looking. Uh, we've got the mall. So that's your like generic big mall. All right, then we have a unique item, the gavel of pain. Pretty cool. And then we have a uh, warhammer. All right. And next we have the javelins. So this is the glaive. We've got uh, regular javelins. We've got maiden javelins. Pretty cool. We've got like a little slicey bit on there. We've got the pylum, which is uh, sort of like your Roman throwing item. And then we've got the short spear. We've got the throwing spear, which is rather long. All right, and moving on, we have the knives. So we'll start off with the balanced throwing knife. Pretty cool looking. Uh, we've got the blade next. And then we've got dagger. Pretty cool looking dagger. Um, this says decoy dagger. Don't know what that means. We have uh, dirk.png. <laughs> PNG. Why did I say PNG? We've got the gibbon. That's the uh, one that you find in Act 3. And we've got the Chris. Very nice and wavy, evil looking. The Storm Spike, which I'm pretty sure is unique. Uh, the General Jane, Jade Tendo is next. 
That one is a unique Chris, as you can see, with the nice wavy blade and the spikes on it. And then we've got the throwing knives. The war strikes. And uh, next on the list are maces. So we've got the blood rise. We have the blood, blood rise morning star. So the blood ride morning star, pretty cool. Again, that is um, definitely a unique item, by the way. Has like some blue sapphires or something in it here. Uh, next is the Dangoon's teaching. Then we've got the uh, flail, just a good old flail. And then next we have the Kalim's flail, which is. Uh, you know, the one that we make in Act 3 to get out. And then we have regular mace, good old flanged mace. And uh, then we have a morning star, pretty cool looking. And I don't know what this is, but it says Super Kaleem's Flail. Oh wow, look at that, Super Kaleem Flail. That looks a lot cooler than the regular Kaleem's Flail. All right, that's it for the maces. I know there's probably not everything in here. We'll just, you know, this is just a, it isn't everything. We've got the uh, clasped orb, kind of cool looking with like a hand grabbing the, the, the orb. We've got the uh, dragon stone. So there's like a dragon tooth coming out the bottom of it. And it literally a dragon mouth there, a little eye and the teeth. Uh, then we have an eagle orb. Very simple. Looks kind of cool, though. And we got the Sacred Globe. And then we got the Smoked Sphere. That's pretty cool. Alright, moving on, we've also got the Pole Arms. Got quite a few cool Pole Arms in here. So this one is Athena's Wrath. And then we have the... Uh, Bardiche, the halberd, uh, this is the pole axe, and then we have the scythe, and then this one is the unique scythe of the soul harvest, really cool looking with like the spines coming out of it and stuff and the RP kind of pointy thing there. Uh, and then we have the bulge. And the war scythe. Pretty cool. And that ends it for the pole arms. Uh, we also have some potion images here. So let me go ahead and pull these up too. Why not? It'd be kind of fun. So this is the uh, choking gas potion. And this is the Exploding Potion. And then we have the Fulminating Potion. Got like a gold seal on it. Uh, the Oil Potion, very similar to the Fulminating Potion. And then we have the Rancid Gas Potion. And then finally the Strangling Gas Potion. So pretty cool. Alright, so next we have the scepters all right so this is the grand scepter all right and we have the war scepter or sorry no, the the scepter just the scepter kind of that gold and then the red at the top very cool um, and the next is the war scepter it's the uh it's the only other one we have it's the only three scepters there on the list Next is the spears. We have quite a few spears, so it's going to be fun. Uh, first one is the brandy stock. Second one is the maiden pike. It's uh, Amazon only. Uh, then the third one is also Amazon only. It is the maiden spear. And then we also have the pike, just the, just the pike. Uh, and next we have a treat. We have one of the unique items. It is the Razor Tine. 
pretty cool looking. Pretty, pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, and then another unique item, the Soul Feast Tine. The uh, regular spear. Pretty cool. And then we've got the, I guess, the Speedum. I never did learn how to pronounce that word. And then we finally have the uh, Trident, which is uh, pretty cool looking too. All right, uh, and next we are on to the staves. So we got uh, quite a few staves. We're gonna start off with the battle, the battle stave. So the battle stave is well, kind of cool, I guess. Just, it's a wooden stick. All these are gonna be wooden sticks. Nice gnarly wooden stick. That's obviously the gnarled staff. And then next we have the Horodric staff. Pretty cool. Almost has like butterfly wings on it. Uh, Lazarus's spire, which is another unique staff. Very, very gnarly. Just cool. And then has that, that almost looks like maggots. Doesn't it? Uh, then we have the long staff. Pretty cool looking. We've got the short staff. Also really cool looking. Uh, Skull Collector's Staff. That is one of the unique items. Very, very cool. Beady red eyes there. And then we have the Staff of Kings, which I believe has the same graphic as the uh, Lazarus Spire. Uh, and then we have the big old War Staff. Just the monstrous, like, like the unique Iron Jang Bong. Alright, next we're on to the Swords. All right, so this is the Bastard Sword, I believe. Yes, Bastard Sword. Uh, very kind of cool looking. Looks a little bit rusty. And then we have a unique one. This is the Black Tongue. Very uh, unique looking sword there. Very blackish blade, and then has the gold accents, and the it's very pretty. Uh, another unique sword, the Blood Crescent. And then we have the Broadsword. The Claymore. The Crystal Sword. The Falcon. Uh, the Flamberge. A big old meaty hand grip there. Extra spikes and wavy blade. Really cool looking. And we've got the giant sword. Uh, the next one is a unique. It is the Ginther's Rift. It's a horrible looking skull there. Looks like almost like a claw mouth or something. Uh, then we have the Gleam Scythe Falcon. Also a unique. That's like a, almost like a panther head on the end there. Looks kind of cool. And then we have just the regular greatsword. Uh, Griswold's Edge, which is a unique. Or a set item, one or the other. Uh, we've got Hell Plague, another unique. Pretty cool looking. Uh, we've got Hexfire, also really cool looking. Kinnon, Kinnon Mills All, very cool looking wings there on it, and I love the graphics on the blade. Very, very pretty. Um, it looks like we got another Skewer of Crints. Or no, we didn't go to the Skewer of Crints yet. Alright, so we got the Skewer of Crints. Pretty cool looking. Uh, it's a unique item as well. And we also have the unique lightsaber. And then we have the regular longsword. The plague bearer. That's a unique item. We've got the skimpter. Or sorry, the saber. Uh, then the skimpter. 
Uh, next one is another unique item. It is the Shadow Fang. Pretty cool looking. Uh, then we have the Short Sword. Just your standard low level short sword. Uh, and then after that, we have the Grand, uh, the Patriarch. Very awesome looking sword, the Patriarch. That's a unique. And then we also have another unique item after this the uh, Toad's Pose Fale Flambe or Flam or something like that. I can't uh, pronounce that. That was like a fire beetle and then like fire pouring down the blade. Looks really cool. Um, then we have the two handed sword. The war sword, pretty cool. And that is it for the swords. And next we are on to the wands. So this is the black hand key. And we have the bone wand. The grave spine, which is a unique one. The grim wand. We got Eero's Torch, which is also a unique one. We've got the regular wand. Got some gems on the ends. And then we have the U wand, which is very interesting looking with the, the feathers and the twisted twisted wood. Very, very cool. Alright, and that does it for weapons. And uh, now we have miscellaneous. So we've got some interesting ones here. Let me see if I can find anything cool. Ah, we've got body parts. Okay, this will be nice. So this is um, Kalim's brain. Got a nice Kalim's brain there. Uh, then we got Kalim's eye from Act 3. And then we have a fang. I'm not really sure what that fang is for. Uh, there's a flag in here. We have uh, Kalim's heart. And we have a horn. Uh, we have a jawbone. Uh, we have an ear. I know what that's for. That's for when you kill other players in PvP. You get to collect their ear. And we have a quill. And this is labeled soul. And this one is labeled spleen. And then finally, we have one labeled tail. All right, so let's go into the next one here. We've got all the charms. These are pretty pretty to look at. So this is the uh, large charm variation one. Kind of looks like it's made out of wood. Large charm variation two. Large Charm Variation 3. Large Charm Variation uh, 4. Okay, then we have Medium Charms. So that's first variation. Second variation. Uh, third Medium Charm Variation. And fourth. Pretty cool. And then we have our small charm. So here's our first small charm. Second small charm. So number three. Kind of cool. It has like little rings on the end there. And then this one like seems like it's made out of brass or something. Very cool. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. We got gems. Sweet. We got all the gems. All right. So let's go ahead and open up the Jimmy gems. All right, so I'm just going to roll through these pretty fast. I don't need to call these out. They're colored, and you should be able to tell what they are. So that's uh, that's normal. Chipped. Also chipped. We got another chippy. We got chip ruby. Got chip sapphire. Here's your chip skull. Like he's missing teeth and stuff. It's pretty cool. We got heads missing. Chipped Topaz, Diamond, Emerald, 
flawed amethyst. These are all the flaweds. Alright, so we got uh, sapphire. And we got skull. He's still missing teeth. At least he's got the top of his head now. Topaz. Lawless. Oops, flawless skull. Okay, now we're working into the uh, flaw, the perfects almost here. We're getting close. So we've got perfect Amy, perfect diamond. Um, and then this is one of the jewels, I would assume. And another jewel. Pretty cool looking. Got a bunch of different jewel variations here. Some of these have incorrect labels, so I'm not really going to call out what they're called because they just they all just say perfect diamond. And we got perfect emeralds. These are all perfects. Perfect skull. Always has the blue link thing in the center if it's a perfect skull. And then we've got the B topaz. And then a couple of those that were arranged wrong. So that's the normal ruby. These are all normals. Alright, so what else do we got in here? We've got... Uh... I mean, might as well. Why not? Just a pile of gold. Ah, here we go. We got some potions. So here's our antidote potion. Got a little evil face on it. I don't know why. All right, and we got um, Elixir. I don't know what that is. I guess that's the one from uh, Bolt and Golden Bird of Kuile. We got Healing Pot, Full, got Mana, Full Juvi. We got Greater Healing, Greater Mana, Healing Potion. Pretty cool, I like these. Got, uh, got lessers. And then, um, it's just a regular mana pot, and we got the regular Juvie. And then we got our stamina potion, kind of interesting looking. Uh, strong healing potion, strong mana potion, and then finally, thawing potion. Interesting. Right, let's keep looking down here. We got, uh, was it quest items? Okay, we got um, blank scroll. Maybe that may be a placeholder for like the Herodric scroll. Uh, then we got the uh, book of skill, which you get from Radiment. Burning Essence of Terror. Not sure what those are. There's the Golden Bird of Kuili. Uh, the Herodric Cube, of course. Then we've got the Jade Figurine. Uh, Lama Sem's Tome. Pretty cool looking. Mephisto's Soulstone. Stone. 
And we got the Herodric scroll. So I guess I was wrong about that earlier. Blank scroll. And then that looks more like the potion you get from uh, Lama Sem. But it says... It's a scroll of self-resurrect, which has got to be wrong. Token of absolution. Interesting. And then I don't know what these essences are. All right, I did find one more interesting thing here, and it's the um, the skill tree uh, icons. So like, just a second here, and I'm going to pull up the Amazons. It comes up kind of weird, though, so you're going to have to give me just a second here. So as you can see here, we have quite a few interesting icons. This is obviously Amazon. Seem to have two of every one. I'm sure there's some sort of subtle difference between the two. Maybe it's like when you click on them. All right, next is the uh, assassins. I'm gonna try and zoom in so you can actually see it really nice. Weapon block, venom, fade, shadow, uh, whatever, mind blast. Pretty cool looking. Hope you guys are a bunch of nerds and enjoy this as much as I do. Alright, this one is Barbarian. Whirlwind, Berserk. All right, next on the list is the Druid. So first off, we've got a Raven right here. Bear, werewolf, werebear, fire claws, shark wave, molten boulder, arctic blast, fissure, cyclone armor, twister, Is that volcano, I think, tornado, hurricane. Armageddon. Ooh. Look at him. Thumbs up this hunger. Alright, next we have Necromancer. Sweet. So we've got our uh, curses and our bone teeth and 
Wait, zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Bone armor and our skeletons and skeleton masteries and our all these different curses look really cool. There's your poison dagger, corpse explosion, clay golem. Was that bone wall? Life tap. Tract. Decrepify. Bone prison. Summon resist. Um, iron golem, I guess. Poison nova. Bone spirit. Fire golem. Resurrect. Sweet. All right, next on the list is a paladin. All right, so we got sacrifice right off the bat there. Followed by smite. And then we've got might, I believe, and then that's prayer. We've got resist fire. Holy bolt. Um, resist ice, I think. Thorns. It's defiance. Oh, no, that's resist ice. Charge, blessed aim, vigor, I think, resist lightning, conversion, old blessed hammer. Is that holy freeze? The meditation, it's like vengeance, holy shield, sanctuary, fist of the heavens, fanaticism, conviction, I think. Summoners, I mean, uh, resistance, salvation. Pretty cool. Skill trees. Okay, those are empty. It's kind of interesting looking though, but I'm not going to show those. Wasting my time. Don't you be wasting my time. Mm -mm. Ain't got the time to waste. Then we've got uh, fireball, warmth. Got charge bolt, pretty cool frost armor, static, I got telekinesis, frost nova, we got what blaze, nova, lightning, frost armors and stuff. I got firewalls, enchant, chain lightning, teleport, meteor, energy shield, of course. Blizzard, Fire Mastery, there's your Hydras, this looks really cool, Lightning Mastery, Frozen Orb, pretty darn cool. Alright, and then I think last on this list, what's this? It says Sub Menu. Okay, there's like your regular attack, your like, throw. Like the various things that you can do, like your identify scrolls, town portals. I have temps in here. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it. That's all I've got. Um, it's just a bunch of texture files, and it's uh, it was fun to look at. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of I kind of had fun looking at a lot of those unique items, but there's stuff missing. There's a lot missing, so um, you know they're not done. So it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Thank